12 News continues to celebrate Black History Month. Tonight, two friends turning a dark history into a brighter future. One a descendant of slaves, the other a descendant of slave owners. They shared their story at One City Church here in Beaumont. Good evening, Southeast Texas. Thanks for being with us tonight. More than 150 years ago, these two families crossed paths. As 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman shares tonight, the pair hopes their friendship can spark change for others. Will Ford and Matt Lockett share their story here at One City Church. Although their skin may be different colors, they call each other brothers. They say, well, once separated them, has now bonded them for life. Sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners. Will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I have a dream. You could call it faith. Even before Will Ford and Matt Lockett met 18 years ago, they were already connected. A friend of ours asked me to share that dream at the Lincoln Memorial on MLK Day, bring my kettle pot, share my story. And I was there because I had a dream, and we met right there on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. The two started talking, and an interest quickly sparked about Ford's family heirloom, the kettle pot. My dad actually washed clothes in that pot when he was five years old, and his great-great-grandmother, Harriet Lockett, would tell him the stories of how that pot was used to pray. Ford says as slaves, his family had to pray in secret. And with the help of Lockett, he started researching why. We discovered that the last battle of the Civil War occurred at a place called the Battle of Lockett's Farm. So that's my last name. Over the years, Matt's family traveled from Kentucky, Virginia, and Louisiana, where the two families crossed paths. We were Lockett's at first. Mm -hmm. And the name was changed when my grandfather was born just started connecting some of the obvious dots. And after a year and a half of research, we realized it was Matt's family who owned my family. I'm actually connected to that story. And I'm connected to the worst parts of that story. I was connected to the, that of the slave owner. Felt anger creep up and other things, and, and I was bothered by it. But Lockett says, in spite of the dark history, there was an abolitionist in his family fighting to make things right. The same fight both men find themselves in today. There's a war in the culture right now over the storyline, over yeah. the narrative. And what we feel like God is saying to America right now is this, what storyline do you want to be a part of? The healing or the hurt? This story is so interesting, it's already been turned into a book and a movie project is in the works. In Beaumont, Ebony Coleman, 12 News. A great story there. Thank you, Ebony.